Welcome to Real Survivors with me, Leslie Coors Mather. I believe that it's very powerful to hear people's uplifting stories. And so today I've invited Ted to share his story. Welcome, Ted. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, so you're the oldest of four kids. I am. Your younger sister had several serious health issues from the time she was born. Yes. Uh, your older brother, stepbrother, mm -hmm. was sent away to supposedly be cured from homosexuality. Yes. Um, oh, your dad, you lost your dad when you were only 16 years old yes. to a heart attack. Mm -hmm. um, you battled alcoholism mm -hmm. and you yourself had a heart attack at age 51, which is the same age that your dad had a heart attack and died. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> When I look at you, I see a real survivor. Um, very inspiring. And I wanted to hear from you what your definition of a survivor is. Well, I, to be honest with you, I never thought about myself in that way as a survivor. Hmm. Wow. I looked at, these are, this is what you have to live through. And so that's what you had to do. What were your choices? Yeah. So um, do you remember much about... Um, your sister and, and her illnesses. She's well, six years younger. Right? Yeah, she she was six years younger. She, uh, of course, that would make me six when she was born. Right. And, and uh, so I don't have great recollection, but I know that she spent months in the hospital. Oh wow. She lost a kidney while she was there. She had shunts put in. She was and she'd have to go back because things would. You know, the, mm. the, the technology or the medical knowledge then wasn't as good as it is today, like with you. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then she eventually, she's not with us anymore. No, she she died in, a, in an automobile Ugh. accident right before her 50th birthday. Mm. So things like that, dynamics in your family, um, by the time you were 16, so 10 years later, right? Mm -hmm. um, you lost your dad mm -hmm. and you're the oldest. So mm -hmm. what was that dynamic like after he was gone? Well, my dad was the center of our family and, and uh, he was the, he, was the he, he drew people to the farm where we lived. Mm. And when he was gone, that just dramatically changed everything. But it was the circumstances with me and him that caused so much of the rest of my life to be affected because I, I was certain that I was the reason that he had that heart attack and died. Wow. And then comes the fact that we had had a knockdown drag out fight the night before oh, okay. and I swore I'd never speak to him again and literally I did not. You didn't. Several people seem to have stories like that. Mm. Either it's that or it's the, I didn't realize I was saying goodbye, you know, kind of mm -hmm. a thing. But man. Um, and so how did the alcoholism come into play with all that? Well, I'm, I'm the kind of person who, who experiences feelings. Yes, I'm a man who says he has feelings. And, and, uh, the feelings that I was going through at that time in my life, 16 on and up, uh, caused me to try to find a way to tamp them down. Mm -hmm. So alcohol became one of those ways that I learned to tamp down those feelings and to medicate myself so that I wouldn't have to feel the things that I was feeling. Sure, yeah, because that's a lot to deal with. Um, and so today, though, you're sober. Well, yeah. It, it, Today is today. It's just alcohol is something that never goes away. It's always a problem. It, it, it's always there. You, you can't just say, okay, I'm cured now. Mm -hmm. So um, that's just one of those ongoing things. But, but I look at that as it's one of those things that I have to deal with. I, mm -hmm. I, it's part of my life. You know, if I have to take medicine every day, mm -hmm. It's, no, it's really no different. It's yeah, one of those things you have to do. That's true. So all these things put together. This is your story. This is who you are. How did all of this define you? Uh, well, for one thing, my, my profession was I was a teacher. 
and I love teaching, and I love learning. Hmm. And I have spent my life trying to figure out who I am, trying to figure out that person that I was meant to be. And, and in all these years, um, it's just been in probably the past six years that I've started to go, okay, I think I'm beginning to see it. <laughs> who you are yeah wow and so it took me quite a while to get to that place it took me a lot of hours on the couch it took me uh, a lot of a lot of conferences a lot of places to go to find healing a lot of mm. just so much stuff trying to find it so and so when i listen to you talk like i said i am inspired and i see as a real survivor um what about people who are listening to you now um is there something that you could offer them with all of this? Is, in fact, could you, in one sentence, give some advice? Actually, I could. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. If you don't quit, you will win. Wow. And you obviously haven't. Not, I'm not going to quit. As long as I draw a breath, feet hit the floor in the morning, I'm going to keep after it. Wow. If you don't quit, you will win. Thank you for coming and talking with me. Um, I would love to hear your survivor stories. You can direct message me on Facebook or Twitter. Um, if we can't have you here live, I'll Skype with you, but I'd love to hear your stories. Um, I am inspired by you. I think we should inspire other people together. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.